Hello. to the 32nd Tadir Award. Um, we are very pleased to have you here as one of our jury members. Could you just please introduce yourself a bit and like tell us a bit about your background with film festivals? Hello and thank you. I'm very honored and pleased to be here, to be part of the Teddy jury. I'm, I work for the Kyiv International Film Festival Molodist, which is Ukraine's biggest and oldest festival. It's going to have its 47th edition this, uh, in a few months, in 27th of May, 3rd of June. Um, and it has a, an LGBTQ section, which is called Sunny Bunny. It has been part of the festival since 2001. It's been basically inspired by Teddy. Um, and I've been part of the festival since 2014, and I have been the curator of this program. But I also program for other sections of the festival. All right. And yeah, before that, I've covered uh, the festival as a journalist. I have a journalist uh, radio background, uh, so I've been covering it for a while and then yeah. became part of the team. Yeah. And what does it mean for you to be part of the Teddy jury this year? What, what, what um, does it feel like and what, what does it mean to you? To me, it's res very responsible because it's such a high profile award, basically the top award for LGBTQ films. Um, it's, but mm, it's also a means to a way to program a lot of films for our festival because it's Berlinale. It's, it has a huge program, and there are always lots of queer films here, and that's what me and my colleagues are looking for all the time, and to get. Uh, as diverse a program too, because uh, Sunny Bunny is um, a program of uh, feature films. It's a competition of uh, feature fiction films. And then we have non-competition screenings of documentaries and classic films if you, every year. So yeah, we try to have a big, broad showcase. Even though it's a small program, it's about 10 to 15 films every year only. But we are trying our best to get the, a very good representation of queer films over the year. Yeah. And what drawn you to the world of film festivals specifically, and, and to like queer film festivals? Mm. Well, was it, that's it was it the love for film or or? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely love for film. I've loved films since forever. <laughs> and uh, well, it's just uh, I don't have a background as a scholar of films, uh, but uh, I've been covering film events, I've been writing about films as a journalist, and I got uh, immersed into the world of film yeah. festivals, and I love it because it's a way to meet the great creative people, and it's a way to bring the best of film art to to the Ukrainian audience in my case uh, and also international but yeah it's uh, our Sunny Bunny program is uh, the the oldest and the main uh, basically queer themed cultural event in Ukraine there are not so many so it's quite responsible to do that but uh, because it's part of the fest a big festival it's uh, it means that uh, you can get to a very broad audience and yeah. for a homophobic, largely homophobic country like Ukraine yeah. it's uh, really important yeah. to do that. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about, about uh, how is the LGBTQ rights and acceptance, how is the situation in Ukraine? You just touched upon that and I'm wondering. It's been improving, I would say, in the last few years. It's, Ukraine was the first uh, country of the former Soviet Union to decriminalize homosexuality, but uh, still the country, is, the society is largely homophobic. In Kiev, it's uh, where the festival takes place. It's more, I would say, more liberal a bit, but still uh, it's troubled. Even though the situation is improving, we have Kyiv Pride uh, that's happening every year, and uh, 
um, getting better and more participants. Uh, we have in other big cities there are prides too. There are queer events, uh, but there are also there is also opposition. There is the complicated situation of uh, the war in eastern Ukraine with Russia. So that's definitely not good for the whole society, and it also affects. Um, the queer community, the LGBT community, because uh, there are, well, part of the society is getting more radical. There are, there is a rise in the nationalist, uh, far right groups, and they sometimes, well, just recently there have been a few events uh, that were disrupted. I mean, LGBT events like a lecture and. That happens quite regularly. We had that at our festival in 2014, a serious accident uh, because a cinema was set on fire during one of our screenings. Um, then uh, there was an attack of, uh, at the same, the same year, two days later, there was an attack on the different cinema where we moved the, the screenings of all our films of the Sunny Bunny program by the right-wing radicals uh, that was at our festival the last so far hopefully yeah. the last Ho hopefully yeah incident yeah, exactly. before that there was nothing serious like that just small demonstrations yeah. but uh, it helps uh, <clears throat> sorry it helps that um, again that Sunny Bunny is part of the big festival because it's a high profile event for the city for the country and it's very well respected and uh, so it's uh, it really affects badly on the image yeah. of the whole country yeah. basically if yeah. something bad happens yeah. like that because that event got re a lot of international attention in the press and uh, so the yeah. the interior the law enforcement realized and generally the government that uh, this should be taken care of and uh, right. they should be working uh, right. better on the security yeah. and yeah, we worked on that too so yeah. it's still complicated yeah. generally in the country but i guess it's improving. it's improving yeah what do you think what will your perspective bring to the jury and and what is it that you are really looking for this year with the teddy films i'm uh, well, I have not prepared uh, that much to the to this program because I just really wanted to see just without knowing anything, just to see the movies. Well, in general, like what themes or what kind of issues, what what kind of topics you really would like to see. Mm. I. Well, I'm not sure about the topics I aim or want really to see because it's working for a festival. I know that it's every year it's different. Yeah. Um, so I'm just really curious to see what the filmmakers um, chosen here yeah. as candidates for the Tidy Award yeah. uh, want to say. Well, yeah. there are lots of themes that. Uh, are really interesting like um, but they are basically they don't really change much uh, I mean the gender identity uh, what I really look forward is I mean what I want for our festival is the more films uh, featuring trans characters or transgender community that focus on yeah. this yeah. because that's an underrepresented group. It's the group of the LGBT community in Ukraine that is treated probably the worst. Um, yeah, so I want to yeah. just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that, that's all fine. Yeah. Um, this year, the Tadi, there are like a lot of films that will concern youth and queer youth and the issues of, of queer youth. Was there a particular movie, maybe a queer movie, that in your youth like really had a big impact on you? That was like, oh my god, like I really resonate with with this. Like this is really something eye-opening to me, and like really something that I can I can feel a connection with. Mm, not really, because I have 
not seen uh, many queer films when yeah. I was a teenager. Yeah. So then, I guess the first queer films I saw were at the Sunny Bunny program right. in Mollis when I first attended the festival. That was nine years ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then I just got to to uh, try to find the most films uh, with the queer LGBT subjects to. But there are things that, themes in the films that always resonate with me. I mean, there's, there were a few last year that really resonated. Uh, so there's, yeah, great, all the well, time. Yeah, well, thank you so much. It's really great to have you here. Thank you. I wish you a very pleasant Berlinale and a very pleasant Teddy Award this year. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much.